Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode, we went off joy and were discovered to be a downer and chased out of the place. So, we're kind of on the run now. And we're trying to find a way to the train station because some old railroad tracks there should be able to take us to the bridge, which can get us to the mainland and the hell away from this island. So heading to the train station, it's somewhere, yeah, over there, 585 meters that way. And I'm also, I also want to look around just to explore, but also particularly to try to find a message that was apparently left for Prue. Remember their, uh, the office mate? that we apparently used to have and they kind of disappeared and we found a note from them and apparently they were off their joy too and trying to escape or something like that. And it mentioned an abandoned house having the next set of instructions for Prue for what to do next. So let's look around. I didn't really explore much around here when I played for uh, about an hour before recording. Gosh, this game is pretty, isn't it? Rusty shovel? Is that a weapon? Oh, it is. Weapons will break after repeated use. It also upsets people when you carry them around openly. Fair enough. Really are isolated here. Getting a bit thirsty. I better find something to drink. Where's a pub when you need one? There's a pump on Barrow Home, isn't there? Quest. Hydration edification? When you consume food, your maximum stamina increases for a short time. When you're too hungry, your maximum stamina decreases. When you drink, the cost of sprinting is reduced. When you're too thirsty, sprinting costs more stamina. While ignoring this won't kill you, do try to remember to eat and drink so that you can benefit from nutrition and hydration. So basically, if you neglect it, it hurts you. If you do the thing, eat or drink, it increases your stats, and if you kind of are in the middle, then it just doesn't do anything. Rotten apple, uh, yeah. This doesn't give me food poisoning. You can find water pumps on your map. Oh, got a little water symbol. Haven't found any yet, of course. Oh, the quest actually is directing me to one. <clears throat> Dick spot discovered. Ooh, a dick spot. I suppose I need the shovel to dig that. Hmm, is this sort of like a uh, finding a stalker cache kind of system? Like in the stalker games, when you find the coordinates of a cache, this is like finding the coordinates of something you have to dig up for some loot. People somehow never notice Arthur when he's sitting down unless they're already enraged at him. This doesn't work at night, though. It doesn't work at night? Why? Just taken in the view. We're not concealed if we're not reading a paper. I'm surprised when you use the ladder, it just takes you either to the point at the bottom of the ladder or up the ladder. You don't actually, like, move up or down it yourself. Uh, right. Do I have anything to drink right now? I think I have some alcohol. Maybe. Oh, this is all my food and drinks right here. Never mind, I don't. Just rotten food. Well, this looks precarious. Hope I don't slip. Ooh. Oh, some art. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Scratch out the faces. Nice. 
Don't let the black... something. Looking for an abandoned house? It could be something like this. Big splinter times two. I love splinters. Isn't a big splinter just called, like, a stick? I guess if it's splintered off, it's not really a stick, is it? Help win the war. Eat less bread. I guess this says black dog. Don't let the black dog in, probably, is what it says. Why not? It's a good dog. barbed wire. Oh. Okay, good. It's generous. It doesn't hurt you. It just doesn't allow you to go there. What if I just, like, climb up one of these bars? <laughs> nope. Coin box. Oh, we can force it open. Yeah, it requires Jimmy... Whoop. Requires Jimmy bar. Sovereigns. That's so eerie. I'm really curious what we're going to find when and if we get to the mainland. Kitchen is the key to victory. Grow your own vegetables. I love all the work they put into making everything look authentic and just these all... These, like, yellowed old advertisements everywhere. Oh, I can, I can hide? <laughs> That's good to know. I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. The Garden District. <sighs> Maybe let's not go there yet. In peacetime, they'll come back. Was that when the kids were sent away on the train? Taken away by I the Germans? I can understand people off the bat, but if he thought long and hard about what happened, I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wondered what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. Oh, I think I interrupted what they were saying. Oh. Okay, we already went there. So that's all of this stuff over here. Oh, we got the dick site. Huh. Oh, that's so cool. I love buried treasure, even if it's poorly buried. <laughs> and it's locked. Oh, that's alright. Whoa, we're in the dirt. Pocket expansion kit. That sounds good. Charcoal, branch, darts. I wonder if you need to find the location of dig sites, or if you can just find them on your own. You probably can find them on your own. It'd be kind of weird if they were invisible until you found their location. Of course, it's very easy to miss. Head boys rank, plow boys wink. What's wrong with wanking? 
Right, well, I don't think the abandoned the abandoned building, the person that was helping out Prue, uh, was talking about, is here. Let's go to the Garden District. Look at how green it is. It's gorgeous. Just a bunch of rotting meat. Nice little tea party. There's a note there. I'll grab that last. You can really loot everything. You can loot the tea kettle. You can loot tea. Can't loot the plates, surprisingly. But you can loot the cups. I'm happy on drugs. Am I really happy? Is there such a thing as false happiness? What I'm saying is... Is there a true self? Yeah, coming off your joy that you've been on for so long, making you delusional, that's got to just wreck your sense of self. Tea party. Nanny's tea party. Do come in your finery. Remember your manners. All right. Well, it's a tea party for four and there's no empty seats. I guess I'll leave them to it. We can sprint really fast, huh? What is this? It's got a bunch of nails in its head. That's not normal. Ooh, blue currant. Garden district, don't they? Well, I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. <laughs> it's nice to find some food that's not rotten. I assume it's not rotten. No, it's fine. Oh, we have some tea. That'll solve my drinking problem. I mean, my lack of drink. You know what I meant. So that orange plus, that's. Oh, yeah, you can even see it on your stamina bar. Where'd my stamina bar go? There it is. You can see that little extra yellow section. That's the bonus. Wish the abyss would stop looking back at me. Oh, this looks promising for the abandoned house. This one's pretty extensive. Increases damage by explosive weapons by a moderate amount. One out of ten. Oh. So is that like a skill book that you find in, like, Fallout? Not sure how the movement system works in this game exactly. Like, is it plausible that I could maybe grapple up there? I don't think I'm supposed to be up here, though. <laughs> Rules of the... Rules of the Garden District. Don't steal. You're welcome to visit, but be sociable and have a chat. Sleep in your own bed. You can eat any fruit you find except the fruit of the apple tree. And the Bobbies will kill you. I thought the Garden District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I better figure out what the other ones are. God damn it. I keep accidentally punching, I don't know why. I think I see a person over there. I don't know if they'll attack me on sight or what? Yes, we remember. You don't have to bloody remind us. The present is awful enough as it is. They're probably talking about remembering whatever happened 20 years ago that made the Germans leave. Well, I don't think I want to go down that road just yet. I want to explore this whole place. 
We have other things to do here. Before I go explore a whole new district. Whoa. Anything up here? Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's pretty generous with what you can grab onto. Now let's not die getting down. Can I gather these? Yeah, night blooming none such. Require Oh, requires a night. You have to wait for him to bloom at night. Okay. Wonder what you can craft with that. Maybe like a sleeping something, a sleeping substance you can put on darts, maybe? If it only blooms at night. Oh. Oh, God. That smells awful in here. There could be somebody in here. Let's see what we can craft. Dirty bandages. Can't craft that. A lockpick. And that's it. I wonder how you get new recipes. Do you just have to get new ingredients, or... Or maybe when you level up or something? There is some sort of a leveling system, by the way. Yeah, we just have zero points available right now, but a little bit later, since we're still kind of in the tutorial section a bit, they'll give us a skill point and tell us what to spend it on. Well, that's a convenient story, isn't it? The Germans rounded up the kids at gunpoint, did they? So much better than what we actually did, isn't it? Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you can search the ashes. Feathers in the ashes? That's weird. I wish I had a light source. A lovely rotten potato. I'm not sure I want to eat it. I suppose I could. Might well, throw up. Yeah, let's not eat it if we have any choice. Where's the radio? Is there an upstairs? Oh, yeah. I remember. Oh, God, I remember. I remember, I remember. What did they do? Diary of Reginald Snell. Monday, I'm not a downer. There's no excuse for those people. I'd take joy happily if only I could. Oh god, I wish I could, without puking my guts up. How could joy work for years and then cruelly stop? I miss the butterflies and rainbows. Must think of the butterflies and rainbows, not the horrors that push into my head. Tuesday. I miss Hamlin Village. I strain my ears for the sound of Simon Says across the water. Growing up, I couldn't wait to get out and see the world. Now all I want is a cup of tea and to stop feeling. Thursday, I think. Slept all day yesterday, or maybe two days. The gray blurs into itself. Friday, the flowers in the garden district mock me, bursting with color in this place of misery. Why do they cast us out of the village? What's it to them if we can't take joy? It should make them all happier knowing they can. Saturday. Oh god, oh god, I remember what we did. 
Then come down and sing for me, and I'll see how good you are. And I don't suppose I'll do it again for months and months and months. Cloth scrap inside of an old broken toilet. Nasty. I sang the wise old owl, and he left the room at once. Margaret, Agnes, Elsa, Olive, Rupert. Just a bunch of people's names, probably ones that went away on the train. Because this here says, where are they now? Probably talking about the children. The radio must be even more upstairs. Saboteur swing. Justice or mob violence. The O Courant. To the editor. Enough with the bleeding heart editorials. The agitators that were hanged had it coming. If they had destroyed the register of children, the whole town would have been destroyed. Stick to reporting the football scores and save the editorializing. We don't need police looking for every Tom, Dick, and Harry that took care of those outlaw parents. What are the police going to do? Arrest the whole town? So they knew something bad would happen to all of the children. I mean, of course. You start building a list of specifically children under 13 years of age requested for no stated reason by the occupying force. Yeah, it's obviously for bad. The agitators tried, but they failed. To the editor. I must vigorously disagree with your recent editorial regarding the vigilante action against the saboteurs. These selfish parents attempted to destroy the registry of children so that their own would not have to be hostages. Their actions were a slap in the face to every family that had sent a son off to a war. We must all do our duty. By long English tradition, cowards are hanged to encourage the others. Surely saboteur cowards deserve no better. Miss Victoria Bing? Whoa, Appleholm. Look at how detailed this place is. All the destruction and overgrownness, plants encroaching on everything. It's really lovely how much it's, how well detailed it is. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. It's a nice detail that the song gets all fucked up when you get up here. Taxi. Thanks to a bit of British ingenuity, the Belpit brothers, who were too ill with measles to take the train last week, will be able to join their playmates after all. General Bing's office dispatched a taxi to drive the youngsters to Bristol, where they arrived just in time to board the German ocean liner taking them to Bremerhaven. It was certainly a challenge to find a working taxi in these times, notes the general, but we must all go above and beyond. The O. Courant wishes the Belpit boys a bon voyage aboard the St. Louis. That's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. The Garden District did say one of the rules is don't sleep in other people's beds. Who would know, though? I don't want to sleep next to a couple of people that killed themselves, though. No thanks. Sewing kit. Duck. How are those noises? Oh, tosser. Increases damage dealt by thrown weapons by a small amount, 1 out of 10. Oh, it's the sound of the rope straining. Oof. Nicole Walters and Nigel Brimble. Let's... Let's take them down. Come on. 
Well, then we'll be kind of next to each other. There we go. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Weird posing, not but... Who I really am. Gotta loot everybody, Arthur. Well, this was not the house that Prue, well, the person was talking to Prue about. Oh, it's 5.44 p.m. It's actually kind of getting dark almost. Okay, I've got to keep track of where I've been. So I came in from there. Have not explored this way. Rowanberry. What is that thing up there? It's like a little... Sort of like a blimp? It's not very big, though. I don't think anybody's actually in it. A rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Ooh, new quest, heal thyself. Just to get food from across the bridge. There must be people out there. I don't know. Ooh, this must be the water source. You can fill up a canteen here for the next time you're thirsty. Oh, they have they have a canteen, so now I have a couple. Ought to be pretty clean. I'm like in the village where they spike it with joy. They spike all the water with joy. Of course they do. So I've got two canteens. <sighs> I just like jumping on things. It's kind of fun. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Otherwise, I'll never feel better. Oh, that was the second petal. Oh, yeah, there's so many things to pick around here. Here's some more. Oh, and we're back to the tea party. Did I check out this building? I don't think I did. Not if that's unlooted. Uh, let's do some crafting, though. So I can make a healing balm with two rows of Gilead petals. Let's make them both. I love how polished and satisfying everything is. Even something as simple as crafting. In a lot of games, it's just like you press a button and then it's just done. But this... There's... Very slightly more to it that just makes it a little bit more satisfying. Like you have to hold down crafting for just a little bit for it to be done. You got like a gear spitting and like some things moving together and there's satisfying noises. It's just really nice. Yeah, like this. It's like a machine that won't run because it's missing ingredients. It's just really cool. It's a really nice UI. I can make a proper suit. Aren't I already wearing one? Yeah, I'm already wearing a proper suit. There's no point in making another one, I would think. I've already got three Jimmy bars in my inventory. No lock picks. I guess I'll make a couple. I mean, I can craft them on demand, but... I don't know. I mean, look at that. That's satisfying. For the quest, I have to actually heal myself. I don't really need to heal myself. I'm barely hurt at all. But... Alright. Wait. The healing balm is in all, but it's not in... Here? Oh, that's drugs specifically. Drugs and health are different. Okay. Boop. It works. I feel loads better. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. So there's four quick slots that you can see down there. 
I don't know exactly how they behave. If you keep tapping them, like if you keep tapping the number, it cycles through different items. If you press F, then it will actually like take out the thing or try to use it. I guess with one, it looks like it's cycling through everything in the healing category. This one is cycling through all the food. Yeah, that's how it works. And this is, I don't know, throwables, I guess. And I don't know what four is. That makes sense. So what are these darts for? I can just throw it? Oh, can you not pick them up again? Or does it have to go into wood? Does it hurt people? I can't imagine if it does, it would do much damage. Maybe these are meant to be like poison tipped or something. Maybe they're not useful in their default form. Pew. Is it considered nighttime now? It isn't. Probably like 8 o'clock or something. I'll be able to gather those. Anyway, let's check out this building. This house is giving me bad vibes. sealed off from this way. Man, look at how good this game looks. Look at that wet floor and the reflections. The shrine to their children. Let's stop that. Make this place marginally less creepy. Everything's quite all right. Nighty night, sleepy tight. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. Repair kit? That sounds good. Nanny. I'm sorry to report that the girl spoon? The girl spoon? What? The girl spoon wouldn't eat her porridge, so I sent her to bed without supper. That's not like their name isn't Spoon, because S isn't capitalized. The girl spoon. What? I don't understand what that means. Tea party. A toy tea set. Funny. Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. A toy tea set. Oh, whoops. Funny. Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. Almost 8 o'clock. Can't quite get him yet. Where to go next? Hmm. Right, so it's supposed to be... The thing I'm looking for regarding Prue is supposed to be in an abandoned house. And apparently, an abandoned house is considered these kind of bigger houses. That actually have significant things in them. It seems like it does not include... Something like this. 
This, like, bombed out house isn't even listed on the map. So that gives me much less places to search. That's good. I feel like, wow, I, have, I can get so much food and stuff and healing ingredients by just picking these flowers, but I suppose most places are not going to have this stuff, right? I mean, this just happens to be the garden district. So of course it's incredibly bountiful here, but I don't think it will be in other places. It's almost 8 o'clock. Just a couple minutes. 8 o'clock is usually the magic number for nighttime. Fog's probably starting to roll in about now. Yep. Oh no! This must be just considered evening. Maybe it's midnight. that in the distance? A tower. Wish I had binoculars. It's really pretty, though. It's too bad we're trapped on an island. Changelings were just what people used to call people like Percy. Changelings? Oh, now we've come around to that tower that we've already been to. I don't think there's anything down there, but I see those like little shelves. It looked like I could drop down on him, and I'm just, just, you know, intrigued. No, there's nothing down there for me, but probably a, a death trigger. Oh, Jesus. Is this what we've come to? Let me take you down. Hide wearing glasses. I mean, sunglasses. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of this little island here. Should I check over here? Can I get there? Let's see. Let's drink some water. Give me some more stamina. That does give me extra stamina, doesn't it? Or is it food? Sprinting will cost less stamina. Okay. So, effectively more stamina. But only specifically for sprinting. So, what's it over here? Oh, yeah, down here. That's this place. Oh, look at the fog. That's so cool. I wonder what it's going to look like when it's completely dark. Should I go this way? Let me make a save. 